Hello and welcome back to my channel. So in the last video, I saw a couple comments asking how the finger worked. So I thought I'd go and show you with the CAD model. So center plate, proximal, medial, distal, distal link, medial link, top slider. You can see the chains connected from the bottom of the proximal to the top of the top slider. There's two separate springs that go on in the center of the frame. There's a 188 by 0 0.023 spring and there's a 188 by 0 0.025 spring. So this one's a little bit stiffer than, than the primary spring. And then a clevis is connected to here and then that's driven by the whiffle tree and then the winder. In normal operation, the clevis is pulled, the top slider stays in its fixed position, all motion is through the proximal. Since the medial link is at a fixed is at a fixed point separate of the separate of the proximal, when it rotates, it ends up pulling the medial. The medial then pulls the distal, causing the distal to rotate. Okay, so say you get to a position where the proximal gets stopped at say 45 degrees and you still have motion on the clevis, then the top slider plate can go and move. Since it's connected directly to the midpoint of the medial, then what will happen is as it slides from its rest position to its, to its locked position, it'll pull, those, it'll pull the midpoint of the medial and then drive the distal around. I hope this helps you understand what's going on in the, in the finger design. Let me know in the comments if it helped you out. Thanks for watching.